Hello friends, welcome to Insights Icon Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about following five topics. As usually, you know that before we going through the detailed analysis, obviously first we will discuss about theme of the day. Now let's see today's theme of the day. Today's theme of the day is legislations, acts, which is related to polity. When you are reading any act or le legislation, it may be the already passed by the parliament or it may be pending with the parliament. These are the areas you have to focus such as context in which context that particular legislation is being framed okay and by which ministry which is the nodal ministry and which ministry introduced that particular legislation and what are the objectives behind that legislation legislation and what are the benefits of that legislation which communities especially which particular vulnerable group is going to be protected be because of that particular act then finally what are the challenges in implementing that particular legislation these are the areas you have to focus when you are reading any particular act. Now let us see one sample question on particular this PYQ, previous year question. Here look at this question. At the national level, which ministry is the nodal ministry to ensure effective implementation? Here they are asking, they are asking question based on the nodal agency. Nodal agency regarding the implementation of scheduled tribes and other traditional forest dwellers act 2006. So which is the nodal ministry? Of course, here the answer is Ministry of Tribal Affairs. But here you have to check how closely they are giving options and how the question pattern is. So this is how you have to prepare when especially when you are going through any particular legislation. I hope this helped you. Next, we will see these are the five topics. The first topic will be the UAPA. You know students, we are discussing about UAPA in today's class because recently uh, union government kept certain METI groups categorized under UAPA and uh, those organizations identified as terrorist organizations. That is the overview. We will go through that in detail. Next, retail inflation. According to the government statistics, retail inflation is reduced. You know that RBA will take retail inflation as a benchmark when it is deciding the monetary policy decisions. Then community rights. Here, Chhattisgarh is the second state which given the community rights to the tribals in one of their national park. We will see what is that area. Then global tiger recovery program. So here we are going to discuss about global tiger recovery program. What is the objective behind this? What are the tiger countries? And we are going to discuss about global tiger recovery 2.0. What is that all about? Then finally, red sanders and sites. Okay, regarding the sites convention. And what is this site convention is saying about red sanders and in which conditions the red sanders will grow? We will discuss. This is a brief overview about all these five topics. Now, without any further delay, let us see UAPA. You know the students, UAPA stands for Unlawful Activities and Prevention Act. You know that a person can be arrested in two grounds, punitive detention or preventive detention. Punitive detention is after committing the crime. Preventive detention is before committing the crime. Through UAPA, even a person can be arrested before they commit the crime. And UAPA is the most powerful legislation with respect to protecting of sovereignty and security of the country. Once a person arrested under this kind of preventive detention laws, even the arrested person were deprived of certain rights also. Okay, Sometimes they may be denied of legal help or they may be denied of you know like uh, introducing before the magistrate and bail conditions also. UAPA. Ministry of Home Affairs declares that several METI groups included PLA, UNLF are unlawful under UAPA. Here you have to understand previously only organizations used to be recognized under UAPA as terrorist organization. Later we amended the UAPA. Now even the individuals also, individuals also can be labeled as anti-national elements under UAPA. Okay, of course that attracted lot of criticism. In spite of that, union government went with that amendment and of course it stands in the scrutiny of Supreme Court as well. So UAPA presents the alternative criminal laws. So UAPA gives more powers to the state compared to the traditional criminal law that is Indian Penal Code. This UAPA was enacted in 1967. Tell me students, in 1967 means who was the Prime Minister at that time? So that at least you should know in which administration this particular act was enacted. What is the mandate? The UAPA, the main objective is more effective prevention of certain unlawful activities related to individuals as well as associations so that we are preventing them 
from committing terrorist organ terrorist activities previously only the word association used to be there later we added the word individual here unlawful activity means what any activity any activity which can be considered as crime or violating the law existing law or the law in the past okay we will discuss what constitute the crime in the coming slides so unlawful activities is all about this under this uapa what are the powers given to the union government this act assigned absolute powers to the union government and un union government can add unlawful activities time by time based on the situation if union government declares a particular activity as unlawful activity that can be done through issuing a official gazette in government of india website applicability uapa applicable to indians who are living inside as well as outside indians who are working in government of india and indians who are working on indian ships aircraft which are registered in india any persons it can be foreigners also who are working on indian ships with respect to timeline of charge sheet and investigation a person arrested under uapa under an those those cases particularly charge sheet should be filed within maximum of 180 days and the investigation has to be completed within 90 days in majority of the times if the investigation is not finished within 90 days most of the times they are eligible to get the default bail okay which is also known as statutory bail special court all these uapa cases generally they are going to be trialed by special courts for the speedy justice uapa amendment act 2019 like i said earlier previously only organizations used to be prosecuted under uapa later we added individuals also so now central government may designate a particular individual or a particular organization as a terrorist organization if they commit following crimes if they commit any act of terrorism or prepare any individual for terrorism or promote the terroristic thought or otherwise involved in the terrorism if any individual or organization related to these areas that activity can be considered as terrorism okay and especially if any act is violating following conventions like convention for the suppression of terrorist bombing 1997 convention against taking of hostages 1979 and international convention for suppression of act of nuclear terrorism 2005 if these conventions are violated also those activities considered as terrorist activities now let us see meeti groups these meeti groups this is this ban is going to be effective for the next 5 years why these organizations were banned these organizations they are encouraging they are encouraging the establishment of independent nation by secession of manipur from india that means they are affecting the unity and integrity of the nation that is the reason they have been declared they have been banned under uapa meeti community they are also known as manipuri people they speak meeti language meeti language is one of the language identified under schedule 8 that means it is a scheduled language they primarily settled in valley region you know the students in manipur people we can identify we can you know like separate people in two ways people living in valley as well as people people living in hill areas hill areas generally traditionally tribals as well as this kuki tribes they live in hill areas and meeti community they not only live in manipur they live in assam tripura nagaland meghalaya and mizoram states as well even they live in neighboring countries such as myanmar and bangladesh the meeti ethnic community they represent around 53 percentage of the manipuri population and majority of them practice hinduism and while 8 percent of the community belongs to islamic religion their popular festival is yoshang festival if we can compare th this festival with holi like it's a manipur version of holi this festival commemorate the birthday of chaitanya mahaprabhu chaitanya mahaprabhu one of the religious leader in this region so this is about uapa and some meeti groups now the topic number 2 it is related to economy according to the recent data it is it is indicating that in india the consumer inflation is easing out it is getting reduced there is a good news in fact because rbi takes it a monetary policy decision based on the consumer price index you know the students price will be calculated at two points one is at consumer end end consumer or end purchaser the other price will be the wholesaler okay if if any index is reflecting the wholesale price that is known as wholesale price index 
if the index is reflecting the moment of prices in the consumer area that is known as consumer price index rbi takes consumer price index as a standard to take any decision related to monetary policy so retail inflation is reducing it is a four month low of 4.87 percentage in the month of october retail inflation measured with the help of consumer price index this measures the changes in the price at the retail perspective whereas wholesale inflation can be measured by wholesale price index uses of consumer price index it indicates the inflation and it also gives information about the price stability and rbi uses this as a benchmark as a benchmark when it is taking any decisions under the monetary policy you know that rbi reviews monetary policy for every two months this review will be done by the monetary policy committee mpc which consists of six members actually according to the agreement on monetary monetary policy framework this agreement was signed between the government of india and rbi in 2015 according to this agreement the sole objective of the rbi is controlling the inflation by using the consumer price index okay consumer price index actually it consists of four subsets the first subset is cpi for industrial workers second one consumer price index for urban non manual employees cpi for agriculture laborers and cpi for rural laborers the second third fourth this data generally compiled by the labor ministry and the first data is collected by the ministry of statistics and program implementation they collect the first set of data and the remaining three set of data compiled by the labor bureau works under the ministry of labor so this is about consumer price index and the easing of consumer price index the third topic we are going to discuss that is about the kanger valley national park actually this is all about chatisgarh is going to be the second state which is recognizing the community forest rights reserves okay that means once a particular area is declared as community forest resources that means that particular area comes under the control of grama sabha grama sabha act as a nodal agency that means local people have the rights over the resources which are available in that particular forest so it is about respecting the people who are depending on the forest of course they are not going to affect the existence of the forest they will use forest only for the minor forest produce let's see recently forest conservation amendment act it got the criticism because it allowed a limited discussion about the impact of this amendment on the forest as well as the inhabitant in this context the community forest resource resources rights community forest resources rights in short form we can call it as cfrr cfrr under section 3 clause 1 sub clause i of the forest rights act 2006 this allows that this section allows that recognition of the rights over the protecting regenerating or conserving and managing the community forest resources so community forest resources can be how they can be managed how they can be protected so those those themes or those issues will be deal under this particular section so here you have to understand what is the meaning of this community forest resource let's see community forest resource rights it includes non timber forest products ensuring sustainable livelihood of community this comes under the community forest rights community forest resource rights now let's see once community forest resource rights are given to any particular community in that that area grama sabha grama sabha act as a nodal agency instead of the forest department and they this entire that particular forest area goes into the hands of the that particular grama sabha chatisgarh is the only second state which declared this community forest resource rights in the national park that is kanjar gati national park before that in 2016 odisha done this kind of uh, you know like uh, executive decision in simlipal national park so the odisha also declared i mean given some community forest resource rights to the local people so this is about the this particular topic and next one is also related to environment this is global tiger recovery program 2.0 this is the second one first we have to understand what is this global global tiger recovery program first this global recovery tiger program is all about global tiger recovery program is all about you know like doubling the you know like number of tigers by particular year 
actually this initial not 2.00 initial the first 1.0 it was launched in 2010 under this initiative the world bank they try to save the wild tigers and this initiative set up the ambitious target of doubling the far the uh, doubling the tigers number by 2022 this was done in 10, 2010 but this goal was achieved way before the 2022 okay next what is this 2.0 2.0 is uh, targeting that the increase in 60 percentage of the overall tiger population by improving the tiger governance in the tiger reserves by taking various initiatives what are those initiatives we will see anyhow but you have to understand first global tiger global you know like tiger recovery program first one launched in 2010 it was aimed at doubling the farm the doubling the you know like tigers number by 2022 and now this 2.0 edition it is targeting of increasing tigers population by 60 percentage meanwhile tell me students which indian state is having the highest number of tigers put your answer in the comment section this global uh, tiger recovery program it was endorsed by 13 tiger range countries in st petersburg declaration in 2010 out of those 13 tiger range countries india is one of the country you know that india is hosting tiger as well as leopard as well okay cheetah and jaguar we can't see but recently we done the transcontinental location of translocation of cheetah from namibia africa okay namibia is considered as world's capital of cheetahs this uh, 2.0 program is mainly focusing on strengthening of tiger governance enhancing the resources as well as protection of tigers while addressing the challenges of human as well as wildlife conflict as as tigers population is increasing of course the frequency of tiger and human conflicts are also going to be increased so those are the areas are going to be addressed by gtrp 2.0 okay next the topic number five red sanders recently union minister for environment forest and climate they informed that india has been removed for removed from review of significant trade for red sanders actually this significant trade significant trade review of significant trade it is maintained by sites this sites is a convention which deals with the illegal trades which can be harm to the plants and animals okay they prevent such kind of illegal trade which can harm the plants and animals they kept india under review of significant trades now we are out of that that means in india the trade in red sanders reduced that means we were able to reduce this illegal trade in the red sanders of course this is a significant step red sander it is endemic to andhra pradesh especially in eastern Ghats. climatic conditions red soil hot and dry climates you know that pushpa movie is based on the red sanders red sanders is very valuable timber protection site of the protection status of the red sanders iucn red list endangered sites appendix 2 under wildlife protection of 1972 schedule 4 okay and what is sites site is an international convention which is regulating the illegal transportation of plants and animals which can harm to their existence sites convention was adopted in 1975 it is legally binding it is legally binding is even though it is legally binding it will not replace the national laws site secretariat it is located in geneva actually sites is enforcing by unep and unep located in geneva switzerland okay next india is a party to sites by signing and ratified the sites in 1976 sites rst process is about disciplinary action regarding the illegal trade of animals and plants now india removed out of that it is same like you know if a particular ramsar site is not protected very well then it will be I mean that Ramsar protocol it will give warning by putting a nation under you know like which category okay we use one particular category when a particular Ramsar site is not maintaining very well then that particular site will be put in that particular category that is kind of the warning sign okay uh, I mean put your answer in the comment section what is that now let's see the yesterday's video question which of the following about CBI are right okay CBI, it enjoys the status of an attached office under the Ministry of Home Affairs, no, Department of Personal Training. 
The director of CBA has been provided security of tenure in office by CVC Act S. Yes, security of tenure. Okay. Recently, the tenure is it can be extended for three more years and annual basis. CBA as well as ED directors that became controversial as well. Consider the following statement regarding the protection of people arrested under preventive detention. Okay, when people are arrested under preventive detention, what kind of protection they can get? Pick the right one. Next May's question. What do you understand by inflation targeting? Has adoption of an inflation targeting regime served the interest of the Indian economy well? Critically examine. So this is the main question on the crit on the inflation target. Now, as we reach to the end of this video, in this particular video, we discussed about following five range of topics from UAPA till Red Sanders. This is the detailed analysis of today's current issue. Thank you.